Cindy Change Manager is working her change tickets. She brings up one of the changes that is assigned to her. The change is in the plan phase, so she reviews the existing information and completes any missing information. She enters her initial assessment of the change complexity and the remediation plan. From these pieces of information, the system is able to set a risk value for the change. Now Cindy would like to better understand the potential impact of critical services and other CIs for this change. The data for CIs in Cindy's Service Anywhere is automatically discovered via Universal Discovery and is made available to her via the seamless integration between UCMDB and Service Anywhere. Cindy can rely on having not just the immediate CIs of the change available to her, but also the services that these CIs are a part of. Most of all, she likes that it's made available to her directly in the ticket, and Cindy and other change approvers can be confident that they have an accurate picture of what's involved. If needed, Cindy can also open the UCMDB browser interface to check for more specific data about the CI. Cindy selects the CI and sees critical information about it. Then she checks the impact and can see both the direct potential impact and also the impact of dependent services. She likes this view because it gives her a nice graphical representation that's easy to consume and information is organized by device, system element, service component, and actual services. As the change manager, Cindy spends a lot of time in the change calendar. From the calendar view, Cindy can apply filters to view the data she's interested in at the moment. She can view the calendar by day, week, or month. She can even pick a specific date in the past or future to jump to quickly. Cindy also has the ability to turn views on and off on the calendar, such as maintenance windows, blackout windows, and holidays. Cindy needs to realign some dates for change she is managing. The change calendar and service anywhere can suggest the next open window, look at schedules for specific changes, and view and address conflicts. Here Cindy can see how blackout periods and maintenance windows help drive the scheduling. This is great since it's impossible for her to remember all of the maintenance windows for each application. Cindy selects the change she's worried about and sees that it is in fact scheduled during a blackout window. Within a few seconds, Service Anywhere has given her a list of proposed changed windows that falls within the acceptable range. That was easy. Cindy reviews the Change Analytics dashboard to help her make decisions about what could make her changes more successful. Looking at the dashboard, she sees that the current success rate is a little low. She wants to understand what actions she can take to improve the success rate of her changes. The action point screen shows that successful changes have a higher rate of having build and test and execution plans when compared to unsuccessful changes. Cindy sees that this change has an execution plan but does not have a build and test task plan. She starts a discussion with the team working on the change and asks them what tasks are needed during that phase. She's then able to add them before advancing the change for approval. Cindy has now improved the likelihood that this change will be successful. Cindy also knows that this change needs to be coordinated with several other changes that need to be deployed into production together. From the change, she creates a new release record and adds the other changes to the release as well. Using the release view of the forward schedule of change, she can see all the changes that make up the release and how they are scheduled and using the tiles on the included changes tab, she can monitor the progress of this group of changes and ensure that the entire release is successful. Once a change has been implemented, it moves to the validation metaphase. Cindy will update the CMDB and check whether any changes detected by discovery match the plan change implementation. Once the CMDB has been updated and validated, the change is moved to the review phase and the review section is now displayed. Here Cindy will document her review findings and completion code and then close the change. Service Anywhere provides her an easy way to add any post-mortem information that is important to her and her company at the right stage in the ticket.
Cindy can use change analytics to identify opportunities for automation in the change process. Under the Change Automation KPI, we see a list of change models with the average time it takes to execute the change manually. Cindy can navigate directly to the change model and review the existing change execution task plan. Each manual task can be converted into an automated task using either rules directly inside Service Anywhere or by calling out to HP Operations Orchestration. Cindy wants to understand the impact a change to a particular server could have on the services provided by IT. She opens the global search and enters the host name of the server. She sees both the server and a change against the server in the results section of the global search. She selects the device record to get more details about the server. To understand the impact the CI has on the services, Cindy selects the show impact button and sees a visual representation of the topology. The CI services and topology all come automatically from the UCMDB. Or it could also be populated in Service Anywhere through an import, which supports reconciliation and normalization of the CI data as it is imported. The data from UCMDB can come from various inventory sources, including HP Universal Discovery, and can be federated from multiple sources. From the topology graph, Cindy can drill into the details of any of the other CIs, including the Exchange Service.